We were in the middle of the championship, kind of felt a lump, so something wasn't right. I mentioned to Dad then, obviously he has history of it. He said, just go over to my GP in Cool. Went for a scan then the next day and I had to ring Donald Kyogun and tell him I was diagnosed that morning. I suppose we're all shocked. I remember it was a Thursday afternoon, he rang me and we were training that evening, I suppose, and then to have to break into the players, you know, there was a lot of tears in the, in the dressing room that evening. They're like a family, and I think that drove us across the line. We don't know for Oshin last year. When Donald told the players that day, and I could see the shock on their face, that's what really got me more, because I got a bit taken back by that. At the time, I didn't see it as a massive deal, and I seen their reaction, so I thought maybe it's a bit bigger than it is, but it turned out that it wasn't really, so yeah, they were a massive support and a massive help. The big family really, even rival teams, I was getting support messages from all of them and lads ringing me. Just even to focus on and come down to the lads nearly every night, that's what it's all about and that's what kept me going and drove me on. The next step was, I knew I had to get the operation, they were saying six, seven weeks. I wasn't thinking of it then but the county final came along and I was hoping to get playing but it had spread so I had to go for a chemotherapy then. Through the first session of chemotherapy, I felt fine. I was wondering, was the chemo they were putting into me at all at one stage? And one day the hair just started to fall out, and I was saying, okay, this is obviously working. My very last day of chemo was probably the day that I was sick. That was the only day I was in hospital and I was sick. I obviously looked sick, but I didn't feel sick at the time. I probably look at the bigger picture of things more, so I don't worry about the little things as much. I'm quite laid back as it is, but I'm probably definitely more laid back now. So six weeks then after your last chemo session, you came on against the All-Ireland Champions Dublin. What did that feel like? Yeah, it was massive, especially for Dad and grandparents too, and Mums from my tutor as well. So I got the all clear two weeks before that, but in my head I was going to be clear. It was just more of a relief for family and friends when I got that. I found not too many men have spoke about her. So I think lads just kind of want to move on, and, and that's fair enough too, but if I had gone when I had noticed it, I probably would have been back playing, and, and I had to miss four or five months. I didn't get playing in the county final, I probably would have if that was the case. Everyone's going to have bad days, but I think once you're ready and you know the bad days are going to come, you can get through them and just push on the next day. It's, it's going to be a new day, so you start again and go again.